a lot to do, but I got to mention this. Talk about letting you inside the process. TV is very complicated. It's a complicated business, but probably a lot of you know this. Right now, all of the television networks are in what's called November sweeps. It's November sweeps right now. Sweeps, of course, that's when advertising rates are established. So the networks use November sweeps to pull out all the stops, try and get the highest possible ratings, and they do anything they can. Well, here at Late Night, we've got a lot of amazing stuff we're going to do for sweeps to try and get just super killer ratings. We're going to tell you all about it in a little segment we're calling Sweeps Ahoy. <laughs> Sweeps Ahoy! Now, uh, cast reunion shows always do well in the ratings. So this sweeps, Late Night has reunited the cast of one of NBC's classic 60s dramas. This is going to get us huge ratings. Ladies and gentlemen, together for the first time since 1964, the cast of NBC's own Wagon Train. Let's get them out here. This is pretty cool. Wow. This is great. That was fun, all right. <laughs> Nothing gets ratings, let's face it, like nudity. And what more fun way to show nudity than streaking? People think streaking's really fun and exciting. The problem is you can't show streakers on network television unless they're really teeny tiny. Please welcome Late Night's Mini Streakers. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That costs us six hundred thousand dollars to pull off. <laughs> you know, another thing about sweeps. Hey, that I want... Conan! I've got a great idea for sweeps. Oh, hey, that's our announcer, Joel Goddard. Everybody, what's your idea, Joel? Well, shows like CSI are so popular. We should bring in our own forensic pathologists to solve mysterious crimes here at our show. <laughs> yeah, but our show doesn't have any mysterious crimes, Joel. Joel. <laughs> You know, TV's top-rated shows are full of beautiful doctors, lawyers, and police officers. Audiences love gorgeous women in unexpected professions. That's why I've decided for November Sweeps to replace Late Night's trombone player, La Bamba, with a young, sexy model named Nadia. Get in there, Nadia. Very nice. <laughs> Goodbye, La Bamba. Yeah. Very nice. That's terrific. All right. Welcome to the band, Nadia. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, don't get too comfortable, Pender, because I've also decided to replace you with someone younger and sexier. Get in there, La Bamba. <laughs> Put in the <laughs> nice job. La Bamba's got a rack. <laughs> you know. They laugh because it's true. You know, back in the 60s, there was a really silly rumor floating around that Paul McCartney had died, and lots of people spent hours looking for clues about Paul's death on Beatles album covers. We thought we could get people to pay more attention to our show during sweeps if we started a rumor that Max is dead. And each night during sweeps, we'll be featuring little clues about Max's death. Here's tonight's clue. There'll be more little clues here and there throughout the weeks. All right. <laughs> What's great is he has to stay there for the rest of the bit. Now, one of the, uh, one of the hotter shows on TV right now is MTV's The Newlyweds. It's a reality TV show starring dim-witted singer Jessica Simpson <laughs> and her husband. It is, and all, it's all about how she's much smart and doesn't know anything. Well, there's little doubt that stupid people bring in the ratings. So please welcome... Sam Simpson, Jessica Simpson's stupider brother. <laughs> uh, hey there, uh, Sam, we know you love cereal, so we set some cereal up for you right there. I want, I want to eat it. <laughs> okay, Sam, just help yourself. It's right there. You got yeah. cereal. Yeah. 
bowl, cereal. Where are you? Uh, milk. Uh, I can't taste it in my mouth. You tricked me. I'm out of here. This door is stuck. <laughs> Sam Simpson, Jessica's dumber brother, everybody. <laughs> Don't cry over that, fellas. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> the made-for-TV movie is a staple of any sweeps period. Now, this month is going to feature NBC airing the Jessica Lynch story head-to-head -head against CBS's Elizabeth Smart movie. CBS has also gotten a lot of attention over its controversial miniseries, The Reagans, which uh, actually just got canceled today. But this is all very controversial. Well, that's made one TV... We've made... We've made one TV movie that tells the combined story of Ronald Reagan, Elizabeth Smart, and Jessica Lynch. It's our dramatization of the unbelievable time when the three of them were trapped together in a Pennsylvania mine shaft. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy our made-for-TV movie, Shafted. I can't believe all three of us are trapped in a mine shaft. What if we never get out? Well, guys. I'm sorry that I kidnapped you, and also that I said I was the prophet Ishina. I feel terrible. Oh, we forgive you. Yeah, we still love you. Well, what if they don't rescue us? We'll be here forever. Who cares? We'll just form our own civilization. Cool! Let's do it! Ah, <laughs> oh, you won't have to. I'm here to rescue you. <gasps> Kobe, Kobe Bryant! Bryant. <laughs> Come back, Patrick Stewart's here. Stick around.